What's up guys? This is gonna be a review of my airsoft and pellet rifle collection. Um, I got a few of them, as you can see here. Uh, I got a real firearm coming in the mail, I've been waiting to do a review on that, but it's not here yet. You know, whenever that gets here, we'll, uh, we'll do a review on that. We'll start from the top, we'll work our way to the bottom. Starting right here, we have the Hot Sun Air Tact pellet rifle. This shoots at um, 1,000 feet per second, and it is chambered in 22 caliber pellets. Uh, you can see right there, it says air attack. It looks pretty nice right here. I like this. Uh, it's a brake barrel with a um, muzzle, like a muzzle quieter. Uh, here you've got adjustable iron sights. I have them at the lowest setting. Uh, they got the two green beads and uh, one right up there. You know. Um, Makes it a lot easier to pick up your sights. A lot, a lot more accurate shots. Easy target acquisition. Easy target acquisition. You know, it's always a good thing. As we move up here, we've got the, uh, the trigger. Um, this is adjustable. You've got the safety. It's on. It's off. See right, you're dead. Uh, here, as you can see, I've got this uh, dot sight on it. This is a green dot sight, and I've got it zeroed right to the end of the sight, so that's good. This is uh, really accurate, shoots really on target. Um, I really like this uh, this little laser sight I got on it. It's really sick, and then I got a butt pad, so you can rest your cheek on the stock. Easier aiming. Really sick. Overall, I give this rifle a uh, 10 out of 10. I really enjoy shooting this. Uh, I'd say 8 out of 10 with that, actually. Next, we've got the Lanzer Tactical uh, AR-15 model airsoft rifle. As you can see here, whoops, just press the clip release. We'll start with the clip then, the magazine. Here's a magazine. You've got a, you know, your, a BB reservoir. Um, yeah, and on the bottom we'll get you a little roller. This is sick. Um, this comes with one magazine yeah, when you buy it. Uh, all these attachments, it doesn't come with it. I had to buy them separately. But let's review this gun. Starting back here, you've got an adjustable buttstock. Right back here is where the batteries go. You can just press these two little clips right there to get that off. I really like this. This is a sick model. Uh, this has a pistol grip. Um, nice and lightweight. Very, very uh, easy to grab. Here you've got your mock bullet ejector. Because uh, on the real M4s, soldiers would complain about shit getting jammed, so you could use it to unjam it. I don't know if this actually works or not. If somebody who has this, could you tell me if it actually works? Um, I really like this design. It's an authentic weight and model of the, the real rifle. You've got the magazine bay right here. you have got the rotunda. Uh, you've got um, rails that you can obviously attach attachments onto. Right now I've currently got a, a laser. And a scope on it, we'll get to that. And then this is a built-in suppressor. Um, yeah, it makes it pretty quiet. But um, let's just pop that bad boy open. So you can see, uh, it's just a regular scope. And when you turn this on, can actually change colors between red. I have that centered as well, and green, which I think is pretty sick. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. Don't have two hands. I really like that. It's really uh, I've used this in a couple of games um, against some friends, and this shoots dead on target every single time. Very reliable. Um, very easy to work. It doesn't jam. Um, you've got a working uh, chambering mechanism right here. Let's see if I can get that. Let's see how that works. So watch this. When I pull this, right? What happens is you pull this back and you can adjust with that little wheel right there. Um, 
you can adjust like if your gun is shooting with too much drop or it's lifting too much you can make it dead center i got it dead center and it shoots dead center on target every time it's a beautiful piece i love this little gun um definitely give this a 10 uh 10 out of 10 all my guns are 10 out of 10. I don't know why I'm really rating them under that. Uh, I love these. Um, with all my firearms, even if whether they're real or fake, I take my time when I when I buy these and really do my research and look into the ones that you know I like, ones that I find interesting. You know what I mean? I don't conform to what anybody else thinks or does. You know, I like the way it looks. I fucking deck it out. Uh, I can interchange the sights on this stuff. Yeah, I really like it. I have fun with it. I think that's the main thing with with this stuff is you gotta have fun and you gotta customize it and make it very personal. But yeah, man, I can't say enough good things about this. I love this little gun, man. I love this little gun. Um, you get the iron sights, got the safety. Safe, semi-auto, auto. Now on this gun, sometimes it does jam when it's on uh, semi, so you just put it on auto real quick and flip it right back and you'll be fine. But uh, hold on to the scope. You can use these little things right here. If you don't know how to zero in a scope, or a sight picture. Because when you get a sight picture, the laser's not, not gonna really be on the dot, so you have that. And I also have this little multi-tool that goes with both of my sights. And I just, I recommend you get yourself a multi-tool for real firearms and airsoft and pellet rifles. It goes a long way. All right, so next we got uh, We've got the Barra 1866 Winchester model pellet rifle. This thing shoots at 800 feet per second and it's chambered in one uh, points, 0.177 pellets uh, or 4.5 millimeters. Uh, if you've seen my channel already, I did a pretty nice review on this. got a lot of good reviews. This is my darling. This one, this is my favorite. This is extremely reliable. You can go out and hammer nails with it all day. And it's gonna come back and shoot dead center on target every time. This is not a brake barrel pilot rifle. This is a pump, classic air pump. Um, it can also be fed BBs. I don't feed it BBs, I keep it all pellets. As you can see right here, it's got some nice adjustable iron sights. Like I said, I did a really nice review going really in depth on this. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is all about guns. Fake guns, real guns, video guns, <laughs> finger guns. Anyway, moving on back here, you've got the gold finish in the wood. And back here it says 1866. Really like that. I really like that wood finish, man. I mean, even though it's plastic, it just it just looks so classic. Little gold right there. It looks nice in the sunlight. Uh, if you've played COD, you can see what I did here. Put the little rubber band grip. This actually does work. It's pretty cool. Here you got safety, on, off, on, off. Um, or vice versa with this. But yeah, so this is the Barra 1866 Winchester. Uh, this is amazing. Both of these guns are, uh, the pellet guns are excellent for varmint hunting. This one shoots dead center on target every time, no problem. This one up here has a little bit, um, Kind of has a little bit drop to it, but I think that might be the, the ammunition that I'm using because um, I've run some tests and well, I'll get to that. But uh, so let's do this right here. We've got a P365 six hour. This is a, a BB rifle or BB gun. As you can see, it's got the painted on Glock sights, the two white, and the one, uh, the green one back there. Easy follow-up shots, easier target acquisition. Uh, it's a blowback. I really like that about this one. You can see that it's clear. I really love blowback pistols because this one is an authentic weight and size of it. So gives you an idea of what the real one would be like. See if you would like to purchase the model. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. I've uh, got a granulated grip. That's really nice. Extremely lightweight, really small. I've used this in competition. This is really nice to have on your hip. It's like it's not even there. I mean, it's it's so fucking light. I mean, look, it's it, I have a giant hand, but it fits in my hand. Authentic weight and model. I've got a 9C, a generation two, nine millimeter. And this reminds me a lot of that. Uh, I've got the little slide right here. Uh, safety, it's ambidextrous safety. Magazine release. Magazine. So that's that.
I really like that. Uh, give this a 6 out of 10. That's alright. I wouldn't recommend it. This is more just kind of to have. One of the first ones. Actually, the first one I ever bought. Now moving on to the ammunition. This is just basic BBs. Um, nothing too special. Those are fed through those or those. Maybe whatever I choose to feed it into. Oh, okay, now these are those shitty pellets I was telling you about. Do not get these. These are trash. They're terribly inaccurate. I think that's what's causing the, the drop in those. Because when I fired with another type of round, it was, like a, it was like a pointed tip. This thing was firing dead center on, like dead center on target. With this, I mean, it still had power and stuff. The only problem was that, like, if you were going to aim, like, right here, you would have to, like, compensate down here because it was going to... It's, or it was, yeah, it was gonna it was gonna drop really hard. Um, but these these things I just I just really don't like these. They just yeah I, I mean I bought them when I bought this because it was the only ammo, ammo that they had at the time and I just wanted to shoot it. But yeah, so nope, working on that. These are the one seven seven caliber pellets that are fired out of the Winchester. These are killer as are those. I think the rounds have as much to do with the operation of a firearm as the shooter themselves um these are really good they're really high quality built i mean you get a shit ton in a pack and they're like five bucks so you can't go wrong with that um classic these are excellent for varmint hunting they put them down um those took two i don't like that um i gotta do a review on some new ones that i ordered because they're they're pointed tips and they're, they're just so much better than those but yeah these are really good recommend these um honestly i recommend all of these to you know to any new or experienced firearm owners these are uh, excellent little uh, little set to have um gives you some variety um that one is not a toy you know that can kill people so be wary children um and yeah guys if you stuck around this far i really appreciate you watching um i'm gonna be trying to upload more videos soon i've just been busy with work and stuff um my 22 is coming in the mail soon so we'll be doing a review on that and um yeah so thank you so much god bless have a wonderful day and yeah